This sculpture was commissioned for the Mint Museum by the Mint Museum as part of a series called 101010. It's a piece composed of about uh, 800 pieces of glass. The form in front of it is fixed and static. However, what's behind it was made very much as a process, uh, as one would make a painting. I basically began by taking pieces of glass that were made in the studio, a few odd bits of wood and things like this, and began to position them behind this curving screen of glass. It's an interesting experience because, uh, as we know, artists make pieces in the studio as a studio piece. This is designed for a particular location, so that process gives it a, an interesting tension. Things may look different, and we can change them as we're going along. Origins of art were all shamanistic. They were about a process of the transformation of a human being. The viewer activates it. As you walk by, things appear to move. Really, I think the purpose in making art is to make something like beautiful that's going to give you a, a lift off, a feeling, you know, that elevates the soul. Clear glass doesn't throw a shadow. Uh, it appears incredibly light, but the stuff is heavy. The whole sculpture must weigh about 20,000 pounds, but as always with glass, it, it weighs as much as concrete, but appears visually lightweight. You know, it floats away in your eyes. The man hours are crazy in a piece like this because there's so many sections of glass and uh, we've worked maybe half a dozen people and occasionally more in creating the piece, packing it, and transporting it, getting it here, getting it off of a container, unpacking it, thousands of strips of glass cleaned and, and prepared, positioned, repositioned until the piece feels right. There's a tremendous amount of work in it. Um, surprising amount of work, I think, for many of the people who saw it constructed. It's a bit like building the Queen Mary with matchsticks. But in the end, it should look extremely simple. It should have a very light feeling and have a spontaneity. You know, I kind of hope and pray that it conveys some of that joy or some of the depth and perpetual nature of the creative process. It should be fun and that's what it's about.